Okay guys, so I'm going to open up what I'm going to call bin one. Now I've already broken some tape. Let's uh, see if I can <laughs> break some more. Uh, oh, there's another piece that's in my way. All right, let's see if that's enough to get it open. Nope. There we go. Well guys, welcome back to The Last Game Hunter. And of course we, and, and forget the other mess you see here, Everything's under, I'm going to say the word construction. I don't know how else to put it. It's a bloody mess. That's what I will say. Anyway, we still have to get through these bins. So today I want to give you bin number one and show you the contents in it, wherever, whichever bin, bin number one is going to be. And uh, check it out and we'll talk after and see what, you know, see what was cool, what wasn't. Uh, or what wasn't I mean everything's going to be cool because it's in the bin right so let's just get on with it all right again uh, you're opening and seeing or I'm opening and seeing everything the same time you're opening and seeing it so we have a ColecoVision manual here that's kind of cool I don't know if my ColecoVision system is completely full so or uh, complete Oh, guys, this is a Tandy 1000 keyboard right here. Check that out. That is pretty cool. So we're going to get a pile of uh, vintage computer and look like it, it's also in need of some maintenance. So there's some really cool videos right there. But uh, so vintage computer and vintage video gaming. Atari flashback. This is probably the flashback too. Oh, wow. So this is one of the ones that Atari actually did. So it's the Flashback 2. I think I have one, not 100%. Um, this might have been the one that actually has the cartridge slot soldered in on the inside here. But uh, anyway, uh, Flashback 2. Looks like the controllers for it. Now I remember these. These are the uh, pirate controls for the ColecoVision. So you have all your pieces here, your back and forth dials. There are triggers right in here. Uh, this is pretty cool. I have a set of these in the box, but now at least I have one loose. Ah, oh, sweet. Look at this. It's a uh, Microsoft Sidewinder for the PC, but not just like for the PC, for vintage gaming, right? The days of the game port that was on sound cards, not USB. So this is gonna be a really cool addition to when I start getting into my vintage stuff. Okay, so right off the hop here, we have a curtain. Yep, a curtain. But underneath this curtain, we have the ColecoVision steering wheel. Guys, that is so cool. Coleco Vision steering wheel with a controller in it. So this is for the Coleco Vision as well. And this is the rollerball controller and you can put your controllers in here. And uh, yeah, it, it's just all the cool add-ons you could have had for the Coleco Vision. And I'm sure maybe something here I don't have. So that's, that's gonna be kind of cool. So there's the second pirate controller, so I have two. Did not see this coming. Huh. Now that is a really cool holder. Is it because it holds more than... Look at the ColecoVision games, guys. So we got Rocky, Venture, Hubert, Space Panic. Now, what's really cool about this is I have no idea, and these are Coleco, Coleco, yeah. I have no idea what I need and what I don't need right now. So I'm, I'm you know, all excited about finding out that I, hey, there's Miner, a 2049er. It's one of the best games ever for this machine. Uh, so we have Gorf. Uh, Split, Slither, sorry, Donkey Kong, Smurf. Uh, funny thing about Smurf and Cabbage Patch Kids for this system, they were really uh, graphically awesome. 
Zaxxon, Mr. Do. I don't know what I have and what I don't have here. Here's another really fun game, BC's Quest for Tires. That was such a great game. You're like a caveman driving around on a uh, a wheel with a stick going through it. It's pretty cool. Then we have Ladybug. This one looks like the label's coming off. No, label did come off. It is Donkey Kong Jr. You know what's funny? Donkey Kong Jr. is probably the one that I see the label come off the most. Turbo, another Sega title. And of course that was the Mining 25. Ninter, Death Kalon. Donkey Kong. Now this combat is definitely not Coleco. It is an Atari cartridge in here. But this is really cool. And then my dog wants to check it out. Right, Bullet? Bullet, what's that? What's this? Huh? What is this? Yeah, I know, right? Uh-huh. Oh, don't step on anything. Gotta be a good boy. Yeah. So ColecoVision power supply. Now, here's something cool. Whoa. What the heck is this? Sydney's Evolution. And it's got ColecoVision and Adam on it. I know I don't have that. That's just very odd. The Duke's a Hazard. War Room. Pepper 2. I think this is a uh, Intellivision game. Snafu. We have Popeye. Football. Uh, what was that one? Avenger. Cosmic Avenger. Oh, I don't have that one either. Pit Stop. See, some games I'm going to know I don't have. And then there's some that I just can't remember. Sub Rock, I think I have it boxed. Kind of cool to have loose, though, because then you can, you know, play those games that you don't normally play. Now, it looks like you've thrown in some blanks, uh, uh, like it got for PC or, or Commodore. I'm not 100%, but there are some floppies in here. I'll have to just test them and find out what they are. We have Frogger. Aqua Attack. I know I don't have that. I can tell by memory because of the pictures. Uh, baseball. These are in television games. So there's tennis, nasal soccer, and uh, Major League Baseball. And then there's uh, a booklet by Activision here. And it looks like there might be some booklets underneath here or something underneath here. That uh, is a yes. Focus. These are just some like manuals for stuff. Loom Amiga reference card. Loom. Ooh, Commodore Amiga enhancing software. And the book of patterns. And Commodore Amiga 500. Starting to get like a little bit of a hint here. Commodore. So guys, <laughs> that's a lot in box one, okay? So what I have to do down the road here now, of course, is find out what I have, what I don't have, what I, ha what I don't have, put in the collection, what I do have, put back in the bin, and find out what I'm gonna do with it down the road, and eventually just keep filling these bins with stuff that I have extra throughout, and figure out what I gotta do to move it for people. So let's get this steering wheel back in. The ColecoVision ball controller. The pirate sticks. Ooh. Somehow I already managed to tangle stuff up. And the ever so cool Tandy keyboard. Now, <laughs> I'm hoping there's a Tandy computer, but even still, just to get this Tandy keyboard is going to be pretty cool because, uh, well, <laughs> They're kind of hard to get. And I've been wanting a Tandy 1000 PC. I did pick up a Tandy 1000, I think, EX or HX, the one with the keyboard built in, but I wanted the bread box. Well guys, bin one is done. We have five more bins. And again, if a bin seems to be small, like more bigger things, but less of whatever, I might put two bins together on that situation. But, Let's talk about the first bin. I mean, a Tandy 1000 keyboard is hard enough to find. 
and now I have one for when I do find a Tandy uh, computer. Um, a lot of ColecoVision in this lot, which was, wow, I think there was one or two odds, like an Atari. You're going to hear my dog's nails clacking on the hardwood floor here. So we had a lot of uh, ColecoVision. We had the peripherals, like the steering wheel, and I remember playing that at my friend's house. Um, okay, he's trying to get me to play. <laughs> Um, and then we had uh, the roller controller and stuff. And I can't remember um, if I have... I know I have for the Atari 5200, I think I have the roller controller. I don't know if I have for the ColecoVision. I can't remember everything because a lot of it's put away. Um, I will be going through, of course, the games later and checking to see um, what's what. What do I don't have? What do I have? I do have an inventory list of that. But guys, you know, just... Tell me, what was your coolest thing that we pulled out of bin one? Um, for me, I, I know it's going to sound sad, but that the Tandy keyboard really was a grip for me. That was uh, that was pretty awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, we went through a lot of ColecoVision. There was a couple, like I said, an Atari and a couple other uh, loose and television games, I believe. But uh, other than that, it was pretty much a Coleco uh, bin. So. Uh, but we didn't see a Coleco console, we just seen the add-ons. But anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And remember, that was bin one. We have no idea what's in these bins. So stay tuned for the next bin, which should be coming to you on a channel like mine soon. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Game over.